After the financial crisis in 2008, the Obama administration turned one of the banking industry's friendliest regulators into one of its toughest. But that agency is now starting to look like its old self and becoming a vital player in the Trump administration's campaign to roll back regulations. The regulator, the Office of the Controller of the Currency, which oversees the nation's biggest banks, has made it easier for Wall Street to offer high-interest, payday-style loans. It has softened a policy for punishing banks suspected of discriminatory lending. And it has clashed with another federal regulator that pushed to give consumers greater power to sue financial institutions. The shift, detailed in government memos and interviews with current and former regulators, is unfolding without congressional action or a rulemaking process. It is happening instead through directives issued at the stroke of a pen by the agency's interim leader, Keith A. Norica, who like the nominee to fill the post going forward has deep connections to the industry. Even in his few months on the job, Mr. Norica has made the new direction clear. At a meeting with staff members over the summer, he declared that the agency was returning to what he called its natural state, according to one of those who attended. The shift could help revive some of the policies and practices that arose on the agency's watch amid the financial crisis and banking scandals of a decade ago and that led congressional investigators to accuse it of systemic failures. The recent changes under Mr. Norica are part of a concerted effort by the Trump administration to unwind Obama-era rules and install a set of regulators who come from the financial industry itself. President Trump's nominee for the position now occupied by Mr. Norica, Joseph Odding, who is expected to be confirmed by the Senate this week, is a former chief executive at One West Bank. The bank, where Mr. Odding worked with Stephen Nookin, the Treasury Secretary, attracted the scrutiny of regulators for its aggressive foreclosure practices. Mr. Trump, who has called the Dodd Frank Act, the regulatory overhaul passed in 2010, a disaster, nominated a former banking industry lawyer and private equity executive to fill the top regulatory job at the Federal Reserve. The head of the Securities and Exchange Commission is also a former industry lawyer. Congress is pursuing its own unwinding of Dodd Frank. In the latest effort, a group of senators that included Republicans and Democrats proposed legislation on Monday that would lessen the scrutiny of big regional banks. Some senators, including Sherrod Brown, Democrat of Ohio, oppose the legislation. They have also expressed concerns about Mr. Norica's decisions and have voted against Mr. Odding's nomination in the Senate Banking Committee. It is unclear whether Mr. Odding will fully embrace the interim leader's policies, but the approach of both men contrasts sharply with that of Thomas J. Curry, an Obama appointee, who instituted measures intended to bolster the agency's regulatory power. Mr.